let's talk about the append node. The append node is located in the record ops palette. This node allows you to combine sets of records. This node is useful for combining data sets with similar structure but different data. For example, you might have transaction data stored in different files for different time periods. In this example, the table on the left has data from 2010. The table on the right has already used in a pen node and so we have data from 2010 and from 2011. Let's take a look at the append node. The append node is useful when you want to combine data sets that have a similar structure, but they have different data. For example, you might have transaction data that's stored for different time periods. So you may have one year's worth of data in one file, and then that same kind of information, but for a second year in another file. And so you want to combine that information. Or you might have a situation where you've administered basically the same survey to your national customers, and then that same survey to your international customers. And you want to bring that information together. So different sets of people, but you want to bring the same kind of information together into one final data set. So that's when, that's when you might use the append node. So before we bring the append node, I just want to show you what some of these data sets look like. Here we have monthly statements for 2010. I'm just going to run this table. And you can see that we have six fields. We have about uh, 54,000 records. All right, we'll close out of this window. Let's look at the next data set. We'll run that data set. Here's data from 2011. And you can see that we have seven fields and we have about 92,000 records and so on. So notice that we have one additional field in this data set. We have the field month. We didn't have that in the previous data set. We'll close out of this window. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the append node onto the canvas. We're going to connect the um, monthly statements for 2010 to the append node. We're then going to connect the monthly statements from 2011 to the append node. And we'll do the same thing with the other uh, years as well for 2011, uh, 2012, and 2013. So you can connect as many nodes as you'd like to the append node, as many data sets as you'd like to the append node. We'll edit the append node. So I want to point out a couple of things here. First, we're going to go over to the inputs tab. Notice that it's letting us know what data sets are connected. It's letting us know in the order in which they were connected to the append node as well. So you see we have the data from 2010 first, followed by 2011, 2012, and 2013. You can also see the number of fields that each one of these data sets has. Notice that they all have seven fields except for the data from 2010. You also have the tag. The tag is letting you know the order in which these data sets were connected to the append node so that the primary data set or the main data set is the one that's in the first position. Now we can change that by clicking on any one of these data sets and moving it up, moving it up or down. We can also change the tag value. We don't have to have it be a one or a two or a three. We can change it to something a little more meaningful. So here what we're going to do is we're going to change it to the year in which the data is represented. So we'll change the first tag from number one to 2010. The next one will be 2011. followed by 2012 and then 2013. Okay, so we've made those changes. Now let's go over to the append tab. Here we have to specify how we want to match our fields. We can either match them by position or by name. If you match them by position, it means that every one of the data sets has to be arranged in the same order because the field that is in column one in the first data set better be the field that is in column one in the second data set otherwise you get a mess so I generally do not recommend to match by position because unless if you've 
are completely sure of your data, it could get a little tricky. I prefer to match by name. And if you match by name, then basically the fields do not have to be in the same order within these different data sets, but basically Modeler is looking for fields with the same name and then it matches them. Now, if you want to make sure that you um, are sensitive to uh, case sensitivity when you're matching field names, you might want to choose match case. That's another uh, nice little option that you have there. Now, the next thing that you have here is it's letting you know what fields are going to be shown and what fields are in each one of these different data sets. So we see the six fields that are in the 2010 data set. We see the seven fields that are in the 2011 data set. Notice that the field month is grayed out. That's because that field is not going to be shown as a default. You can see in the output fields, those are the fields that are going to be shown. Why is that the case? Well, that's because as a default, you're only including data sets, fields from the main data set, which is the first data set that you have. We're going to change that to all data sets. Now we're going to include all of the fields. Notice that now the field month appears in the output field column. The other thing that we're going to do is you have this nice little option to tag records by including source data set and field. What that does is it creates a new field. As a default, it's going to be called input. And it gives you the different tag values so that you know who came from what data set. That's a nice little feature because a lot of times then you might want to do analyses comparing people from one data set to another. We're just going to change the name of this field and we're going to call it year. And now those tags that we created earlier where we had a tag of 2010, 2011, and so on become a little more meaningful because they're the actual years that the data is representing. We'll click OK. Now we've connected the append node over to the table. Let's just run the table now. Notice that we have eight fields. We have about 284,000 records. Notice that we have a new field called year. We see the data from 2010 right now. We scroll down a little further. We see the data from 2011 right below. You know, scroll down further, 2012 and so on. So this is an example of how you could use an append node to combine data sets that have information for different people, but it's basically the same kind of information that you're combining or appending.